was a normal sunny day, I picked up my guitar to practice, but found out that I was just so bored of playing. So I whipped out my laptop and went on an expedition to find some of the best guitar tricks the pros use to stand out from everyone else. And this is what I uncovered. The first trick was used by the legendary guitarist Eddie Van Halen. Everyone knows him for his arpeggiated tapping on the track Eruption. But this is actually not what we're going to talk about today. He used something else that is similar to like a harmonic trill slide, and it was first heard on the Van Halen album number two, specifically on the track Somebody Get Me a Doctor. <laughs> But he frequently used this trick, and this is definitely iconic Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen is definitely not the only guitarist to have an interesting tricks to stand out from everyone else. Jimi Hendrix had some extremely interesting differences that he used, one being his chord trick. So you probably know how we all play bar chords. We bar the fret and then put our other fingers to form the rest of the chord. Well, Jimi Hendrix wanted to be able to switch between the chord and playing a melody really fast because he was only in a three-person band and they didn't have a rhythm guitarist. So he wanted to be able to do two at the same time. Instead of just barring the whole entire chord, he could use his thumb to play um, the notes on the low E string and then he could play the chord regularly and he'd be able to switch into the melody a lot faster. If you were to ask me, which band do you think right now has the most unique sound? I would probably have to say Polyphia. And the guitarist from Polyphia, Tim Henson, does some interesting tricks to sound different from the average guitarist. If you listen to any of Polyphia's top songs, you'll hear in all the guitar parts how many harmonics Tim Henson uses. And he doesn't just write normal riffs, he does a lot of jumping up and down on the neck, doing tons of octaves, and playing crazy amounts of harmonics. He also frequently uses a technique called hybrid picking, which is when you're doing fingerstyle guitar, but you also have to have a pick in your hand, and you're picking and using your fingers at the same time. Just recently, Extreme released their first single in a while called Rise. And the guitar for Extreme is Noodle Betancourt. He also has some tricks that he uses to stand out from everyone else. One of them being his fast chromatic patterns. If you listen to Extreme's new song, Rise, you'll hear on Nuno's solo how chromatic and how staccato and fast it is. <laughs> But he's not just chromatic and fast, he also mixes in a bunch of legato phrases. Which this makes the solos extremely tasteful and really interesting to listen to. So I hope you got something out of this video, I hope you got some insight into how these amazing guitarists build their sound and sound different from everyone else. If you guys want to see me talk about other guitarists I didn't mention in this video, drop them in the comments below and I'll make a part two to this video. If you guys want to learn all the techniques I mentioned in this video, drop a comment below which techniques you guys would like to learn and I will happily make them. So thanks for watching, I'll catch you all on the flip. Have a great day.